What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and you're not going to want to miss this haul video. It is absolutely stupendous. We got vintage watches. Um, we got all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, there's going to be way too much stuff to fit into one video. So we're going to split it up into two videos. Um, we're going to get started with some of the stuff I picked up yesterday. Um, try to get through most of it. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos and you're getting some type of knowledge out of them. Um, this is something that I picked up today. It's called a Tisset Tissot. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. I know it's 10 karat, I think it's 10 karat gold plated um, bezel and then I guess the rest is stainless steel. But it is a wind up, but it's winding this way. It's not winding um, clockwise. It's winding counterclockwise, which means I think that there might be something wrong with it. Um, I could probably take it to a jeweler, but it might cost me a lot to have it fixed. If this particular model is worth a lot, then um, I probably won't worry about that. I'll just let somebody else fix it. Um, but um, some of them sell really high. I see somebody have one listed like oh, you know, in the thousands, but um, it was it definitely was um, a best offer was taken. So I don't know what the exact. I would have to look that up on WorthPoint. If you guys don't know what WorthPoint is, it's it's a site that you can go to. You have to pay for it. Um, in order to see what an item actually sold for. Because when an item sells on eBay and it sells with the best offer, you can't see what it actually sold for. But on WorthPoint, it will show you. So um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on that watch. I paid $15 for it. She wouldn't budge. I was like, okay. At first, she didn't know what it was. And she opened it up and she seen what it was. And she seen it was a nice watch. It actually has the date too. So the date is right there. Um, 1968. I don't know if that's a service or if that was when it was sold. So the model and everything is right there on that paper, which is going to be very helpful when I look it up. So we're going to get right into the stuff that I picked up. Um, not, not everything that I picked up from there in general, but we did get a Miro. Um, this is a, um, it's a, it's a cookie kit, but this is brand new in the pack. This was never opened. Um, it's still sealed, which means that's never been used obviously and it should sell for a little bit more because it's brand new in the box i don't know what they go for new i know it's vintage complete blah 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 blah. i don't it might have a date on it it might not made in usa remove it has a dog a pinwheel daisy a tree a star and a bar so this is like a christmas one too actually i think she did have um she did have a bunch of christmas stuff i don't Cookie press with six forming plates. I guess those are the ones that are in here. Cookie cake decorator. Miro make and decorate cookie kit. See, I don't know if that's the stuff that actually comes with it. But there is one that's not where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right there, but it came loose. Um, there you go. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. Let me see if I can move it over a little bit. There we go. I, oh, I ripped the plastic, though. Oh, well. I, I moved it back onto the thing, but I ripped the plastic. But, you know, whatever. Maybe I can put a piece of tape over that and just so that it doesn't come out of the package while I ship it. But um, other than that, it's still brand new, still new, but I put it back in place. I always got to do stuff like that. I'm like OCD. All right, I picked up a couple vintage um, Christmas stars. These are made by Woolworth, so... Um, I don't know what the value is on these. I have the box to them. Probably not a ton of value here. My wife was saying that she wanted a new star. And this one I actually like a lot. I think I think that this one is really is going to look really good. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably take them both home and just kind of let her pick which one she wants. And we'll just kind of go from there. So this one's cute too, This that silver one. But um, anyway, yeah, she was just said that she didn't like it. I said it's really nice. I like it. It's not... You know, so it is what it is. And we got some hats yesterday. I got this vintage Pirates stripe. Um, usually when they're striped, they're worth a little bit more. This is a starter. I don't know how old it is. It's not in bad condition. It's not perfect, but it's still in really good shape. I think I paid like maybe like a dollar for it or two dollars. Not a lot. Um, their hats are really cheap at this place. 
This one is Coyote. I don't know if that's if that is a brand that I'm going to be able to sell. If that's like a tool brand or a farm equipment or what whatever. I, I don't know what that is. And I don't know if this crown is is the forklift crown. I don't know what that is. So I just grabbed them because they were there and they were brand new and they're mossy oak. So I was like, you know what? Maybe they'll sell. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Hats are like a hit or miss. Um, and then I got this old Bosch. I know Bosch is definitely a tool brand. Um, they make all kinds of stuff. Obviously, it says power tools on it. This is vintage. It says fabricators supply company. I don't know if that's any whatever it's it's a kc hat it's not made in usa it's not super old but still whatever i think the hats were really cheap there and the shoes were cheap as well these were two dollars for these kds for these kevin durant's um i don't know what these ones are particularly worth but for two dollars it's a it's a um it's a win-win situation they're they're almost like brand new they're in really good shape the bottoms look really good um i don't even have to clean these i might just wipe them down around well i will wipe them down right there. I don't know what these are worth. They may be worth $30. They could be worth 50. I don't, I don't know, but for $2, you can't lose. Um, and I did find a pair of red wings. I got these red wings. I looked them up. Somebody did sell a pair of these just recently. Um, usually red wings will have, they'll have the design on the boot. They're not in the best condition. They are kind of rough, but with red wings, they're boots that just last a really long time, and people will buy them anyway. They got some crap on the bottom of them. I got to clean them up a little bit, and we'll go from there. I should get like 50 bucks for them. So they were $2 as well. Um, these, I don't know if these are exotic, but um, I found some cowboy boots. They are made, they're um, panhandle slim. Um, some of the exotic ones seem to go for a little bit more. These ones are not like lizard skin or anything. I don't think i don't think they are i know they're not um they're not whatchamacallit because they have creases in them um they have their color of that what's it called again i can't remember i do have it saved sorry guys i'm like brain farting here they're shell cordovan but these are not shell cordovan is horse hind um these are not shell cordovan i don't think they are see the creases in the leather if they were shell cordovan they wouldn't have those creases they would just kind of be wavy they would have waves so i know they're not shell cordovan but you know whatever um these i don't know why i grabbed these um i guess i did because they're vintage these are um the only ones i see are 2003 i think that these are from 2000 i could be wrong i don't know these are the nike shock they're the nike not nike max nike they're not Force, they're not Max, they're Nike Zoom. I think these are the Nike Zoom um, sh Air Shocks. And as you can see, I only paid $2 for them. So, I mean, it was a win situation. They're really big. They're probably going to take two years to sell, but when they do sell, I'll probably get a decent amount. They are really dusty. Something with the dust in this. And I don't know what, where the dust comes from, but they're definitely going to need to be cleaned. We do have a sink down at the end. I'm, I'll probably run them through the sink and we'll just kind of go from there. There was a couple clothing items in that store. Nothing fancy, you know, nothing great. Um, I got a Puritan. It's made in USA. I think it's wool. There is no size and there is no, um, there's no material. I, so I don't know if it's wool or acrylic. I don't think it's acrylic. It's either cotton or wool. I don't think it's wool either. I think this might be like maybe a cotton blend. I don't know. I'm, I might end up just tossing that. Their clothing's like 50 cents. It's not expensive, so... I'm not too concerned. Um, and then we have this golden bear. It's definitely old. It's really super thin. Um, it's got the it's got the bear logo. Um, it's Jack Jack Nicklaus. Is that Nicklaus Nicholas? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm you know my bad Jack. My bad Jack. So it is what it is. Um, since because of the stripes, it's got a really nice design. It is old. It is single stitch. It should probably go for about 25 or more. Then I found this North Face. Um, it's just a plain North Face button down, just like a fishing shirt. It's got the mesh on the inside. Um, I should do do okay with that. Not 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 bad. Not great, but you know whatever. Um, where did I get these clothing items from? This is a thrift store. I don't even remember. Yeah, this was Goodwill. So I paid 14 for these. 
Um, these are made by Duluth. They're like a full... They are coveralls. Is basically not overalls. Overalls are the ones with the suspenders. I believe that these are called coveralls. Um, the only way I could see that they were Duluth is by looking at the zipper. The zipper said Duluth. And then I took another, a closer look at them when I was at the register, I think. And I seen that right inside where the legs are. If you look down, right like where the where your waist would be, it said has the Duluth. All right, so um, I shouldn't get less than 50. I did pay up for these. Um, being the condition that they're in and the color, the color's a really good color to, to work in. So I'm thinking maybe I can get like maybe 75 for those. Hopefully that would be nice. And what else did we get? Oh, I got this for my son. This is brand new. So I got him that. My one son, he really likes, um, he likes the Celtics. He likes the Sixers too, but he'll wear the Celtics also. It's an extra large. It's his size. Perfect. That's going home today. And I found this old Philly shirt. Really cool. Made in USA. It's majestic. It's got the majestic. Got the made in USA. Really cool. Check that out. V-neck ringer. Like baseball knit. So um, it's like brand new. It's in really good shape. I'm going to say like maybe like 30 or 40 for that. Something like that. You know. It's always a mystery. You never know. Okay, so I found this cool Woolrich Woman's. This was $10. I paid up for this, but this is like a blazer. It's like a wool jacket blazer lined. Um, I'm probably, I'm thinking like maybe like 50 on this too. Um, because the color is really cool. It's really bright. It's a really, it's a very desirable color. It's not, it's not plaid, so it might take a little longer to sell does have a couple pockets. That is the old Woolrich label, probably like 70s, 70s or 80s, something like that. Maybe 90s, I don't know. There's a way to tell with the Woolrich um, tag. It has something to do with like the ears or the eyes on the lamb, on the logo, something like that. Got these LL Beaners, paid up on these two. They were $6.99. That's why I spent so much money because everything's so expensive. Um, these are, these are L.O. Bean. They're made in USA. They are, they are definitely wool. They're 100% wool. I'm guessing, yeah, made in USA. Um, they're just, uh, these are not a hound's tooth. These are, I'm going to say corn, corn, whatever that's called. It's not a hound's tooth. It's not a check. It's called something corn. can't remember what it's called. Something corn. I can't remember, but whatever. Corn. No, not that corn, guys. Okay. Um, so this is a bean signature. This is LL Bean. Um, these go for a little bit more. That's what the tag looks like. You're not gonna see the traditional LL Bean tag. It'll say it'll say bean signature. Um, I paid up on this too as well. This was seven dollars, but I should get closer to forty for this one. So it was worth it was definitely worth it. And the condition is flawless. The condition is awesome. It's super soft. Super clean. Yeehaw! All right. Now, here we go. For all you old heads like me from the 80s. Z Cavarici. Check out that Z Cavarici. That would probably sell really well on Depop. But I tried selling things on Depop. It didn't work for me. Is this wool? I didn't even look at the material. Made in Korea... No, it's acrylic. It's acrylic and not nylon. If it would have been made out of wool, it would have been really good. Five seventy-five. Even the um, Z Cavarici was expensive. This feels like leather. So it's got the leather on it. It's just a really cool sweater. I'm um, probably not going to get too much for it. I didn't pay that much for it. If it would have been like ten, I may have gotten it anyway. But it does. It looks like mohair. The way it has all of the material. All over it like that like that's what mohair looks like like rabbit hair it's like all like fuzzy has like um it looks like there's a bunch of hair all over it but you know whatever all right we found some Harley found some Harley yesterday check that out just a denim Harley denim short sleeve shirt this was seven dollars as well 
It is not made in USA. It's made in Hong Kong, but you know, whatever. We'll see how well it does. That's a dope logo. Pretty good logo. Um, like I said, I paid paid seven dollars for it, so I did pay up on this, but we should do well with that. I should get at least thirty for that, maybe a little more. And I did buy some cars. I swear I seen a red line in there. We're gonna have to take a look at those guys. Um <clears throat> I got these for my son. These are South Pole. They're size 34. These will actually fit me, too. I'll be able to rock these. Maybe I'll keep them for myself. I'll put them away. He'll probably... I don't know. He's not that bad with clothing. He's not that good, either, but... I only paid five bucks for them. Um, These in the mall would be... Even South Pole would be $30. Or twenty between 25 and 30 Which is not that expensive. It's not, like, designer, but still... When you have three kids, you know, it adds up. This is a pretty dope Harley. Now, this is considered a shop shirt. Whenever you see the stripe, it's like a bowling bowling pattern shop shirt. That's what this is called. That's what you would put in your title. It's really nice Harley. I paid seven for this one, too. It was well worth it. Um, this one is not vintage either. Made in Macau. Macau or whatever, yeah. So this one, I should get closer to 44 as well. It's got a really dope logo on the back. Cool skull. Do well with that. That'll do really good. Um, okay, I picked up this Ralph Lauren. It's brand new. It has a tag on it. It has an older tag. It's brand new with tag. It has the brand new tag on it. Um, it has one. It has a little bit of yellowing on the collar right there, but it's brand new. Um, it's a it's a rugby style. Let's see if the buttons are. No, the buttons aren't rubber, but buttons are plastic but it's got the polo it's got the Ralph Lauren there I think it might have something on one of the sleeves too maybe no no whatever probably like 30 30 bucks for that I'll, I might try to get the stain out I might just let it go because me trying to get it out might make it worse and this was vintage I thought this was cool this is like Long Island this is in New York the trains in New York it says it says Long Island Live Steamers, Steam Diesel, Electric, Train Rides. Pretty cool. Made in USA. It's on an old jersey tag. Made in USA. So this is vintage. You can tell by the fleece and the and the um the material. It's real. It's like it's not real thin, but it's thin enough to where you know it's not, you know. Got my Goodwill bag. You, some of the Goodwills they don't they don't do that anymore. You have to use a bag. I picked up a train set yesterday. I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't know if I'm going to split it up or not because I think that if I split it, I think I'll make more money off of it. Sometimes, sometimes you got to do stuff like that. So here is the train set. Let's try to give you guys a good view of it. I'm not going to get totally into it. There's the whole set. Some of them, they're brand new. Um, this set was never used. So I don't know how it goes. I know there's two... There's two of these on the... Oh, there's a ton. There's a ton of... Tri there's a ton on the bottom. Oh, wow. There's the truck, and then there's just way more. There's just a whole bunch of... Yeah, there's a ton of these. Like, I mean, how long does the train have to be? So, this set is worth well, way more than what I, what I'm expecting it to be worth. So, there's just all the pieces... This is just the entire set. Like, I did not see a set like this online. Here's the trees. I mean, this is just, you want your train set. Look, even as sand. Like, this is the whole set. Yeah, this is really. So, maybe I paid $20 for it. I'm thinking that I shouldn't get less than 100 for that. So, I'd be happy with 100 But I think that there's more value there. So, I think that I need to do a little bit more research on that. So, whatever. As far as the cars, I swear there's a red line in there. We'll go through them. There's a tow truck. See that one? Is that a red line? Look at that, guys. Is that a red line or what? Or is that not? I don't know. It looks like red line to me. All right, we're going to look it up real quick. 
Okay, guys, so I was right. This is the general. It's Hot Wheels Redline 67 um, Camaro. Camaro um, it is from General Mills. It has the Hot Wheels right there. Really cool. I knew that there was something going on. I knew that it was a red line. So we're going to check out the rest of these packs also. I know that I think i seen another one. There's another one right there. See? I think that's what it was. I think that it was... We're going to look this one up next. There's another one. There's two. Wow, I got lucky. There's another one. We're going to see what that one's really cool. Look at that one. There's another one. That one's a red line also. So we're going to look that one up. There it is, guys. That's the Hot Wheels. That one's a Hot Wheels red line, red baron. It is, what, 1969? Really cool. It's in really good shape. I don't know if that metal is supposed to look like that there, but... There you go, guys. There's another one. We're going to check. We're going to look at. So, so far we got, boom, we found two, two of them. So we did really well yesterday. Um, all right. So I guess we're going to go through these cars. Um, that one's plastic. The ones that are junk, I'll just give them to my grandson. That one's cool. It's like a rhino. They're not really worth. I'll look them up, you know, just for, for laughs. Laughs and giggles for lack of a, there's another one, that one's pretty cool. So I'll, I'll look them up, you know, just to make sure. This one's a little bit older. Some of these go for a decent amount. I mean, they don't have to be red line. That one's cool, that one's Auto City, Auto City Toe. All right, let's take a look at the rest of them. So that's trash. I'm just gonna look for red line. This one's cool, that's the reason why I grabbed this one. That's an older Jeep. I think it's missing. It's probably missing like a gun or something. That one's Army. I thought I saw. Yeah, I know I saw the Army. The Army Star. That one is not a red line. That's an old car too. That one's old. It's in good shape too. So, you know they're older when they are metal. A lot of the older ones are metal on the bottom. Like these are newer. They're plastic. That one's... Not a red line. That's probably a Chevy, right? A 57 Chevy. No, no. There's a Transformer. That one's plastic. That one's junk. Sorry, guys. Spam. There's a train. Oh, look at that. It opens in the back. There's the back of the train. There's a train. It says Western. So, I don't know. I don't know if any of these will be worth anything, but there's another pack of cars here. And I think that was it. There's another one. Look. There's another red line. We're going to look that one up. This might have been the five pack. This might have been the red line five pack. We're going to look that one up. All right, guys. So nothing too big. I mean, it's just another one. I think that they were all part. I think all of these were part of, of a pack. They may have came in a pack. So that was a pack of two, pack or a pack of three, pack of five. Either way, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll sell them all together. I'll get way more for them, probably if I sell them together. So I'm not really seeing. Um, I know they're from the 90s. They're not super old. But anyway, you know, I'm not complaining. I did find three red lines in, in one, one, um, one trip. I mean, that, that almost will never happen again. Um, so really cool. We got the Popos. We got Popo chasing, you know, whatever. These are just basic. That one looks like a, is that a Camaro or something? That one's a Corvette too. That one looks like a, like a, um, um, what's it called? A Stingray or whatever. There's another one. Just that that one's an older or a newer Camaro. I don't know what that is. And then, you know, another Popo. Woo! All right. So anyway, not too bad. All right. So let's keep it moving, guys. All right, so we got this Flintstones. This is one of those, um, it's a latch hook kit. Unfortunately, it did get water damage. Um, it's still wet. Um, I don't know how I'm going to dry it. I don't know if I should just take the plastic off and dry it, or I'm just going to let it sit. I don't know how long I should let it. I think we're just going to open it, guys, and just kind of go from there. Yeah, I don't think we should let it get any more water damage than it is. I think everything on the inside is fine. All of this stuff is, is it wet? No. So nothing's wet on the inside, just the cardboard got wet. So yeah, being that it's open, it's not gonna be worth as much. I'll probably get about $40 for that. So still not too bad. 
Didn't pay a ton for that. All right, we're going to keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to turn this into two. This is going to be way too much for one video. All right, so there was two of these. Um, I think I paid $2 for this. All right, so this is a Toro. It's a photo cell power pack. Um, I don't know what it's for. It's for, like, lighting stuff up in your yard or something like that. I don't know if it has a timer on it, but this is valuable. This is worth about $60. And there's another one that doesn't have the box. I tried to find the box to it. I couldn't find it. I was like, you know what? I'll just sell it without the box. Um, these are brand new. So I should get about $60 a piece for these. Now, mind you, um, what did I spend there? 100 bucks, somewhere between 70 and some something like that. I, a decent amount, you know, enough. So, But we're definitely going to make out in the end. Um, I think these are made by someone named Ivy. I, I just took a chance on them. I didn't know if they were going to be valuable. This one doesn't have a name. I think they're lithographs. There's one with the monkey, one with the car. There's another one in here. There's two more, actually. So there's this one. There's that one. It's a police car. I'll probably sell it. Maybe I'll sell them together. There's that one with the snake. I'll try to Google lens them and see if I can find them. All right. And then there was a bunch of this stuff where I was just kind of just grabbing all of them. Um... This one is a headliner. They were only a dollar. There's a Steve Young. We have this one is Mario Lemieux. Played for the Penguins, right? Yeah. Condition is not perfect, but you know, whatever. Not perfect on that one. This one's a bobblehead. Jimmy Johnson bobblehead. Um, being that they were all only, I don't know why that other one was two dollars. They just different people priced them probably. Here's another one. This one is a Patrick Roy. That one is the Anaheim, right? Anaheim Angels or something like that. Anaheim or I don't know. Something like that. Whatever. Here's a bunch more. This one is... Who is that? Then we have a Kerry Collins. I don't know if these have any value to them. Not a ton of value here. Then we have this Randy Johnson pinhead. I thought that was cool. Just some stuff that, mind you, that I couldn't scan anything inside of this place so a lot of this stuff was just kind of spur of the moment i just kind of grabbed it this is a birdhouse teapot collection i thought that was pretty cool i grabbed that um we did pick up these 95 these are superior picks made by classic now there's an there's a um i doubt the autographs are in here these are already opened let's take off the freaking duct tape off the box um there was one where was the one that I was looking at? There's Jamal Mashburn. There's just like, these are these are college cards. I don't know if you can consider these rookies, but um, it's just the whole, just the whole box of them. I got to go through them. Um, that's just going to be a ton of work involved there, which is a pain in the butt, but sometimes it's worth it. There was some comics. I grabbed some comics. We got some Punisher. Another Punisher. Ghost Rider. Um. Comics are really funny when it comes to condition, and, you know, that's just the way it goes. Then there's another Punisher War Journal. Punisher War Journal. Now, I'll look these up individually, um, and if I can sell them for, you know, $10 or $15 a piece, I'll do that. Um, it might be better just to lot them all up. We got a Sharp Elsa Mate. Sometimes some of these older calculators can be really valuable. Make sure you guys are scanning these. It might look like a piece of junk. Um, but believe it or not, I sold a small calculator like this like a couple months ago. I think it sold for about 40 or $50. It might have been more. It might have been up towards $70. It was a decent amount. And we got the little fake Fabergé egg. I just thought it was cute. It was only a dollar. It's got a bird on it. Um, just a, you know, yellow. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I don't think that's not a canary. It's not a blue bird. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm going to put this over here because I don't want it to get broken. So, um, it was only a dollar, so I was like, okay, I'll jump on that for a dollar. Um, these weren't very valuable. Antique automobile gold stamps. I'll probably just put these both together. They're still in the envelope, sealed. They're not worth a ton. They're only worth a couple bucks a piece, like six bucks. I took a chance on them. Um, then we have the Danbury Mint. We have the Babe. I think I'm just going to hold on to this one. I'm just going to keep that for the personal collection. It's not worth that much, but, um... It's definitely worth, um, it's worth keeping. It's worth keeping and just holding on to. Just, just to, something cool to look at. Then we got a bunch of, bunch of, um, 
bunch of um, postcards. Duh, kind of brain fart right there. So they're just, they're all, they're all different. We have Piano 300 on them. We have some Time Max, just some really cool um, nostalgia body space. So I don't know. Sometimes some of these can go for a decent amount. And then there's, you know, just, just random, random postcards. So I was like, okay, I'll go through them. And if there's anything that one says hot stamp, see, you know, you never know. There might actually be some value here. Sometimes I think you can scan these the way that you can scan baseball cards um, to see if there's any value there. I'm, I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But I know baseball cards, you can just you can just take a picture of them, scan them, do, you know, whatever, and you can see what they're worth. I don't want to, I don't want this to be too tight. I don't want to bend them up. But, all right, we'll do a little bit more research on those. That's the kind of stuff I really don't like putting time into. It's just... It's a pain in the butt. Found a Polaroid. This is the Instagram. This is the Instagram Polaroid. It did have some film in it. I did take it out. Um, it wasn't. I thought I took the film out. I did. Why is it still in there? I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? I could have sworn I took the, the film out of this. I swear. You know what? I did pick up another Polaroid, so I think I picked up two Polaroids. Yeah, I did. I actually did. So I got two Polaroids. I think one was the same exact Polaroid. Okay, so whatever. I'm not complaining, right? Yeah, I'm going to throw that out. Oh, almost made it. Didn't make it. These are Footmates. These are made in USA. These are baby shoes. Um, They're just like, they're in really good condition. I don't know if they were worn or not, but... um. I just grabbed them. Probably didn't didn't pay that much for them, so there's definitely some value there. Um, this is a music box. Take the sticker off of that. As you can see, they're really cheap. It was only a dollar. <clears throat> this is a Adagiri. I've heard of that heard of that name before, so I was like, let me take a chance on this because I know I've heard of that brand. So um, I don't know if that has any value to it. I don't know what it sings, but we'll find out. Um, I think I grabbed all of these. I figured that I could just, I'll just list one and then I'll put four in. We have four all together. I'm pretty sure that they are all the same. Cape Cod Collection Wine Goblet from Avon. Of course, I have to take this sticker off. They come with this. I think they come with the, with the smelly stuff, but it's really, really cool. Maybe I'll sell them in a set so that way they'll have the set. Um, I'm, I'm going to see how, you know, how they sell better. This is called Ruby glass. If you guys ever see this red glass, it's called Ruby. So just for, just to let you guys know, that's what it is. So, and then I got to pull the stickers off. I have to use the, use some heat to get that off. I will. All right. And then we have, here is the other, there's the other Toro. As you can see, condition, brand new. This was never used. So there's another one. It may not sell for as much because um, it doesn't have the box, but it's all good in the hood. Then we have this Boyd's Bear. I normally don't pick up Boyd's Bear stuff. A lot of it doesn't sell, but this I thought this, this was really cool because it's a clock. So like I said, I don't know what the value is on that. Um, we're definitely going to make some money, so I'm not really worried about you know how much on certain items. I'll just take what I can get. These are lithographs. These are just a bunch of lithographs. We have some, um, what are those called? What's that artist right there? Mm. What is that artist that does those? Rockwell or what is that? Norman Rockwell. So, you know, I don't know if they're all that or what the deal is, but there's a bunch of them. The Saturday Evening Post. So there's that one and then there's that one. So I don't know if they're just all like that and then you got some nature so i'm going to do a little bit more research on these as well because i don't really know i don't need to put them back in that bag i'll just put them in the envelope they'll be fine so they probably just did that just to protect them more but i think they're fine in the bag like that so let's go ahead and put these under there what else we got in here we got this frank thomas frank thomas was like the man for the white Sox. In the 90s, um, he was just a superpower hitter, and 
there you go. I paid 70, 75 cents for the key ring. I thought it was really cool. Anybody that's a collector that, that is still a Frank Thomas fan, that really, he was just a super, you know, power hitter, home run hitter. Um, he was awesome. 75 cents for a key ring. I mean, I'll probably get like maybe 15 bucks for it. So, I, I didn't know what these were at first when I seen them. They are Brooks Brothers, but they were sitting like this, like that, and then it, there was the purse. And I didn't know that they were Brooks Brothers, um, but then I was like, okay, so that's what these are. So, these are, and they were $3 a piece. So, I don't know what I'm going to get for them. I know they're brand new. I know that your phone is not really going to fit in there unless you have an older iPhone. So... But, I mean, maybe you could put something else in there because these phones today are just, yeah, look, there's no way. It has to be a really small phone. It would have to be something a lot smaller. Maybe um, someone who's older, who has an older, an older style phone, but it can still be a wallet. So, you know, it's just still a wallet wristlet. So, we'll see for $3. Maybe I can get something for them. They are a little outdated. I didn't really think of that. I just saw Brooks Brothers and was like, okay, Brooks Brothers is a really good brand. Stickers are coming off pretty easy on those too. So what else we got? We got a couple more things in this box. And then I think we're gonna we're just gonna probably have to stop this video. It's gonna be long enough. And we're gonna continue it on to another video. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna split it into two videos so that it's not super long for you guys. I don't wanna bore you. All right, so I picked up these two sets. They were spur of the moment. They were just, let me. I don't know if they're valuable or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one, if you ever see this set, this set is worth a ton. It's worth about $70, I think. Um, it is worth a lot, 60 or more. This is called Dr. Emerson and Saro Egerich. Egerichs? 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 I don't know. Five-disc box set. The Love and Respect Marriage Conference. So this set is worth a lot. It's brand new, sealed. Um, this set will almost pay for everything that I bought. So not bad. This set included Will. So these two sets right here will pay for all of the stuff that I got yesterday. Well, it was like a whole cart full, including the train set, including all those other things that I showed you. I didn't look at these. I didn't see. Um... These are, isn't this Royce, what's her name? Something, not Roy, Joyce Meyer. So this is like religious type of um, um, inspirational type of stuff. The discs are pretty good. That one is anyway. So well, I'll make sure that I look at the rest of them. I'll probably take some goo gone or a baby wipe and clean off the cover of that. Um, this set is used is worth about $30. So um, in actuality, I'll probably get about 25 for that because I'll probably list it for 30 or 35 Take an offer, put it on sale. You know the deal. Anyway, guys, that's it for part one of the video. Um, stay tuned for the next part, which will be um, posted, you know, right after this one pretty soon, probably the next day. Um, I have two videos on the back burner right now that I'm getting ready to um, put up. One is actually sitting at home on my computer. Such a good day. Um, yesterday and today, we did really good. I did spend a ton of money, but we're going to make a ton of profit. So sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Check out those right there, guys. That is just really, really cool. Really awesome. Um, it's not every day that you find three red line cars. I think that those are like a reprint or... Yeah, something like some somewhere along that line of like a reprint or, or um, um, a re whatever reproduction or something like that of the original red lines. Okay, so I'm trying to move some of this stuff over. So here you go. Guess what we found? Isn't that isn't that cool? Um, yesterday and today. So we got two of them. So all I gotta do is list one and then put because I knew that I took the film out of the one. I was like, I know I took the film out. Um, these generally go for about twenty-five or thirty dollars, maybe a little bit more. Some people get up to like maybe closer to like forty dollars for them. But um, this is the this is really cool. I should keep one just to just to hold on to it for nostalgia regions and for Instagram purposes, like just to just to um just to have. I don't know, but I don't want to hold on to stuff like that. I I really don't. 
All right, so some of this stuff, it was all, I got it at all different places, but there was a yard sale down the corner. That's where I got some of that other stuff there. And I thought that this was really cool. It needs cleaned off, but these are coasters. Really cool. So it's complete. It has the box, brand new in the box. Um, maybe not brand new. It might have been used. It needs to be cleaned. I'm not really sure what this is worth. I'm thinking like maybe like 20 or 25 bucks. I might have to charge shipping because of the weight. Now we have a bunch of Johnny Cash. Um, Johnny Cash usually sells really well. As soon as I list the records, they sell right away. So there you go, Johnny Cash. Eight tracks, check them out. Um, I'm gonna sell these all together in a lot. Um, some of my eight tracks I think I need to go through and you know really take an extra look at them. All right, so that next item down there is gonna definitely have some value. Found another razor, I don't know. I don't know how old it is. I don't know who it was made by. I don't know. I think you have to open them up to look at them. But it has the case. So I don't think that this is a fat boy. Um, some of the fat boy ones, they tend to go for a decent amount. Let's see if we can see. It just says blah, blah, blah. Patent number on package. They always say the same thing. Sometimes. What does that say? I know it says something. Yeah, really small. Like, made in USA. It's Gillette. All right, so it is Gillette. So that's a good thing. It's not, a, it's not like a remake. It is Gillette. I don't know if it's a fat boy. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to try to. Um, it is in really good condition. Usually when I find these, they're disgusting. They're like just really dirty and rusty. And they're just, you, they're not, they're not even worth listing. But this, I have the package for it. So not bad. It's not like a good case, but it's still in a case. All right. So this, I wasn't sure if it was going to have any value. This is made by PV. PV does a lot of like, um, they do like a lot of instruments, like guitars and amplifiers and things like that. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm going to plug it in, make sure it doesn't smoke, do anything that it's not supposed to do. I don't think there's any, there's nothing really loose inside. I think it takes a fuse, but somebody has one listed for about $250. You're not going to believe what I paid for this. I paid $2 for this. I think that they had it. Yeah, she put sold on it, but where is the... There was a price on it, but yeah, $2, guys. And then I don't know if these go to it or not. I don't know if these are supposed to go to it. <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Or these are something different. Like these are some type of timer or something. I'm gonna these. They were in the box. So the whole box and everything is $2. And then there's a couple screws. I don't know if these are the screws that go with it. It might even have been a dollar. I think it was a dollar. Is that a dollar? Not a hundred. It might only have been a dollar. I think what they do with items like this is that they don't know what they're worth and they just want to get rid of them. People donate them, so they just try to make whatever they can make. If they would have put five or ten, I probably would have spent that. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. All right. I'm trying to clean up this mess here. We got paper everywhere. All right. So we have a little bit more stuff over here. Let me try to get it over here so I can... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get through this because I know I have so much to do today. Oh. Okay. All right, so make sure you guys are scanning your books. These, I didn't, wasn't sure. One of them's worth... I think one of them's worth like 30 or 40 I think this one is. This one's worth like $30, something like that, maybe more. Okay. Um, I think their books are really cheap there, like 50 cents a quarter. I don't know. And then there's this sports management one. There's another another one. Um, I think that this one is worth about $60. So introduction to sport management theory and practice, second edition. So And they're selling, like tons of them are selling, like 10 or more sold. So this is going to sell. Even if I take a $50 offer on that, boom, I'd be happy with that. Just get it out of here. Um, this is a sequin calendar idea kit, 1982. So it's vintage. 
I don't know how well this is going to sell. I usually don't do well with like calendars and things that are outdated like this. Um, even though they're vintage, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, I thought it was cool because it's an owl. Maybe somebody that collects owls. Um, it's brand new. It's never taken out of the package. So we'll see. We shall see. Um, and this Majestic Creation, this is a tablecloth set. Um, I seen these selling really high, like $60, $70. I'm like, wow, for a tablecloth set. I just dropped all of the all of the napkins. Um, these are really, I don't know if it's complete, but it has like this. It has one of those. It has one. It has one, two, three, four. So there's five, six. No, one, no, wait. Are these all the same or are they just folded different? Some of them are folded like that. There's two folded like that, and then there's four that are folded. I don't know why they're folded like that. And then there's four of them folded like that. And then there is the, the tablecloth itself right there. It still has the sticker on it. This is a brand new set. Um, it's a really nice color. So I think that this is going to go for about $60. I don't have the top to it, but that's okay. Actually, I think that this is the lid. I think that might be, maybe. No, that's probably, I think that's just what it's supposed to sit on. But that's okay. This is brand new. Um, I think I'm going to get about $60 for this set. I was actually really surprised that they were selling for that much. Just for a tablecloth set. Now, I can't remember what this was called. It's just like a horse. I think that this is a lithograph. I don't know. I have to look closer at it with a magnifying glass. Ubai. Ubai David or Ubai, I don't know. I can't, I forget what the name was on that. But I think that that's actually a bad sign whenever you see something like that. Huliki frame and corporate, that's just the frame. So I don't know how that, you would even get that out of there. That means that it was framed. That means that somebody had this. Yeah, this was definitely framed. So I don't know if that's, I think that's glass, so I don't think that's plastic. So I'd have to be really careful with that. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that artist. Um, I did Google it. Um, I Google photoed it, and that's what I got out of it. All right, so we have a couple more things, and then we'll be done, guys. I'll be out of your hair. So I'm um, trying to keep this video under a half hour. I think that was everything. I'm surprised that I got through it all that quick. So. Then we have the zoo, zoo Tycoon. These were actually, the discs were actually in something else, but they were all together. So the discs actually go into this. This set normally sells between $30 and $60, depending on the condition. Um, if the set is new, you will get a lot for this set. So be on the lookout for the Zoo Tycoon. This is the complete edition. So don't, yeah, don't let that pass up. I think I found Croc 1 before, but here's Croc 2. It's only like a $10 game, not a ton of value there. Neither is this. This is the 101 Dalmatian Escape from Devil Manor. This isn't worth that much either. I, I couldn't scan them. I was just guessing. Um, and they were all like on sale like for like a quarter. So we have this Roast Meat Poultry Thermometer. Brand new, vintage, made in USA. Um, it is a true temp. I don't know what this thing is worth. Maybe a couple bucks. Probably not, not a ton of value there. But then we have this electrified Alpine village, 10 miniature lights, eight cottages, and one cathedral. This is complete in the box. Um, I'm not sure if it's new. I know it's, they're, it's made out of plastic. Um, they're like just like pla little plastic houses, and the lights are included. Um, I just sold a Christmas set. Um, this isn't, I don't know if you would consider this for Christmas. Yeah, it's got the hollies around the package. So this is another Christmas item. This is something that I need to list today um, and get it up and listed. So that way, I, if somebody wants it, I can have this shipped out um, by today or tomorrow. And because it will probably sell right away. It's going to sell really fast. So anyway, got a ton of stuff, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what I picked up and, you know, what my profit's going to be. I don't really do the numbers like that and push them at you. I don't do that. Some people do. Some people don't. I don't do that. I just show you what I'm picking up, what I think are um, good items that are going to sell. Um, a lot of the items that I've been picking up within the past year have been selling, you know, almost immediately, not, you know, within the first month or 
whatever, which is what I like because I have a lot of long tail items. Um, I have enough of those type of items. I would rather have items that are going to sell really fast. So my ROI, which is my return on investment, is faster. So I would love to have a faster ROI. So anyway, I think I did pretty good for the past two days. Spent a lot of money. Now it's time to get some work done and make some money. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I post my next video, which would be part two. Peace out.